This lesson is on Assignment 6 and what you need to do for that. First of all, Assignment 6 looks a lot like Assignment 4, and it should. The difference is you're going to take out every reference to a file using File Open or Directory Open that we did in Assignment 4, and we're going to replace all of that using a relational database and using SQL statements. I would like you to also use the common functions that we developed in an earlier lesson for your SQL statements to practice using that and using the include file. So the functionality is going to be very, very close to what we had before. It's just the guts that makes this work is going to be completely different. So we still have our featured home, and that was hardwired in, so we don't have to do much with that. If I leave find homes blank, I see all the homes. All this information is coming out of a table now. It's coming out of a home table. Same thing here. All the information, the grabber information, price, bedrooms, what have you, everything. One thing I think I added here that was different before is I put a, a horizontal rule in between the homes. It was a little bit easier to delineate them. If I go back and I put in part of a city name, like Tom, it happens to be part of a city name named Tomsville, you get just the homes for Tomsville, just like we did before. But remember, it's just done through SQL, not through any file functions. So I have the homes ordered by city. I believe they're sorted by city. So we can get it in that order, O-P-T. So put it in that order by. In the Guestbook Mortgage Calculator, that should work substantially the same. When you add here, though, when you go through and put data in, you're going to use an insert statement. So let's go ahead and add something here. Jim Smith, put a phone number in there. Jim's from Detroit, nothing there. Now, when you hit the Submit button, you're going to issue a database insert statement. You're not going to write to a file. So that's what happens here, and that should work. So let's go back. When you view the guestbook, you'll be using a select statement to go against this table, the guestbook table. You're going to need to develop that, create a guestbook table, a home table, a realtor table. All those need to be in place instead of the files. So we have some information here, and you'll populate it. One thing that's a little bit different that we had before is I had an indication whether someone wanted to be contacted by phone or email, and I showed you that, and then I showed you in one column the phone or email. In this case, I broke it up into two columns. I have the phone number or email, and whichever one they didn't enter, my program put an NA in there. So only one of the contacts will be there, but they'll be separate columns. And they should be separate columns on your table as well. So let's go back. When you click here, you should come back to the home page. Go back and we'll look at the mortgage calculator. That should work substantially the same. And we get our interest rate. Now that calculation was done in PHP. There's no database interaction at that point. So. That pretty much sums up what you need to do with this assignment. Same thing, but everything's changed. We're all going to use MySQL instead of files. And that ends this presentation on what you need to do for Assignment 6. In the next presentation, I'll show you the solution that I came up with.